Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to be going over how to create a very basic HTML um, web page. So the first thing you're, go you're going to need is TextEdit. TextEdit comes with Macs, so you should have it on your computer. So you're going to open that up, and this is what you're going to do. You're going to go to TextEdit preferences and you are going to make sure that these two buttons are not checked. You're going to go to format and click on make plain text. So now what you're going to do is begin to type. So if you want, you can um, make the font a little bit bigger because it's sometimes easier to have bigger fonts. So go ahead and set that up however you like. So the first thing you're going to do is make use one of these tags um, and then go HTML and make another one. That tells it that you are putting in HTML. Then you're going to go head, title, and you're going to type in what you want the title of the web page to say. So you could say example web page slash title. So make sure here you have one of those tags and then a backslash and that tells it that it's going to close the title. Um, so let's preview this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go File, Save As, um, I'm going to call it Test HTML, Save it to Desktop, .html. Now the .html is very important. You need to make sure it says this. So then you're going to click Save, and it says you'll use the extension .html at the end of the name. The standard extension is .text. Um, make sure you click on Use HTML because that's what you want. So, here it's opened up and we can go ahead and click on it. And this shows us what it would look like. Now we have not entered any text, but you can see at the top it says example web page. So that's a good start. So now if you want to have a header, you can do H1. And that lets it know that you want to have a large title. Um, the other ones would make it a bit smaller if it's H2 or H3. So welcome to my website. Now you can fill this in with whatever you want because whatever is in between there is totally your choice about what you want to type. So again, the backslash h1 and that tells it that you're going to close the tag. So let's do command save on this and then click on the refresh button. And here we go. You can see that it has updated. So if you want to center it, just do a tag and click center. And then at the end of this, you are going to do another one, backslash center. Sorry, one of those. And um, you can see that with everything, you have to close it. And when you close it, it tells it that it's not doing that anymore. So only stuff that's in between here will have the desired effect, which is centering. So we'll save this. And we'll refresh this again. And you can see now it's centered. Now, there's some more nice things you can do, like underline and bold, make stuff bold. But this is already bold, so we can underline this if we want. If you want to underline it, you do um, tag u, one of those again, and then at the end, slash u, and you're going to see that it always has that. So command save to this, and refresh this page, and you can see now it's done it to this one. So another thing you might want to do is change the color of the text. So if you want to do that, you can just go again here and click, um, make one of these things, and then type in font color, 
equals, um, and you make sure you want to do the parentheses, um, and then um, type in the color that you want. So let's say you want it blue. And so make sure you have the quotation marks here. And then type in welcome, final set, or whatever you want here. And then save that. And refresh this. And it's blue. So now let's continue with this. So we have, um, so we can close the head. So again, slash head. And now that we have the slash head, we can begin the body. So the body is just like the general text. So you can just type in any filler text. So um, just this is my website is what I'm going to write. Um, and then we're going to close the body. And then we are going to close the HTML. So let's just see what this looks like. Um, command save from this, and we'll update. So we can see this is my website. Now, if you don't want this in blue, notice that um, you have never close a tag off, so it's going to remain in blue. So if you want to have this, let's say, in green, um, you could just type here um, font color e equals green. Save that and then preview it. And you can see. So if you don't want it all the way to the side, you can center this as well. Just go over here and do center. And save that and then preview. I always like to preview as soon as I make a change to see to make sure it looks the way I want it to look. 